Hey, Andy Traub here with iCoachMyKid.com. I want to show you something I put together for my local league that I would encourage you to maybe consider doing for your local league if they don't have a good solution. So here it is. Uh, this is just a very simple uh, poster board, um, dry erase board, excuse me. Uh, you can get it for, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Um, this is a decent size. Uh, I think it's like four by two or something like that. And all I did was take electrical tape, as you can see there, right? And let me first show you um, on the electrical tape. I didn't use the full width. You see how it's kind of smaller there? And the way you do that is you lay the tape down like that and you take your knife like this and you open it. See that? And then you just spin the tape around. You have to be very careful doing this, okay? And if you put the tape on a piece of paper, it'll spin easier because you've got that glue on the side. So anyway, that's how we made this sort of cut in half. So we made that smaller. That way we were able to make our lines smaller. But the idea here is that you'd be able to post this in dugouts. And then I drilled some extra holes up here. But if you look behind most of these, they're going to have holes in the corners that you could also use to mount. But this is like plastic, plastic, plastic. So I like to put them up here in the aluminum. So the idea here is here's your lineup, right? And then you could either keep hits or you could keep positions by inning. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll work for a little league. Uh, so uh, I got a couple of these. And then the other step that I thought was pretty awesome. Uh, yes, I just used stuff from my garage. So this is um, weed whacker line. Uh, and I attached a marker to it because that's the number one problem. So you were going to lose the marker. But check out these markers. You ready? Boom. And then boom. All right. So hopefully, God willing, they remember to put that away. But that way they're not losing the cap, they're not going dry, that's the biggest problem. So I have this to here, and then I'll mount this as well somewhere above it, make sure you make it long enough so it reaches the full width, but you know, I'll mount that probably up, up there along with that hole or something like that. So you combine those right there, uh, you've got a great solution for your uh, batting lineups inside your dugouts. So we're gonna try these for the first week and then maybe make some adjustments. Uh, but hey, if you got some time, extra 50 bucks or so. You can put uh, those in both your dugouts, maybe 30 bucks, I don't know how much they are. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. And if you have a different setup that is like super affordable, kind of a baseball hack, uh, just share it with me. Uh, and I'd love to see what you're doing to make your local fields better without spending big bucks. See ya.